All right, so we got GTA 6 trailer breakdown. Um, possibly one of the best trailers in like the last 10 years, in my opinion. But let's go into the video. We'll see. Well, it finally happened. The first Grand Theft Auto is a game spot. Is here and it has a 2025 release window. Yep. There's a lot to unpack, so let's break it down. I was expecting it to drop in 2025. I will not be talking about leaks in this video. Thank you. Everything is based on this trailer alone. Thank and you. Anything beyond that are my personal predictions. Okay, I haven't let's watched do this. no leaks, no the nothing. I've been standing off a of Twitter. Beautiful sunset and a highway in what appears to be way outside of Vice City to Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road. First thing to notice is how packed the highway is. There's a good number of vehicles on the road. Hey, and I was about to ask. It looks like they're here. covering like the a whole state of Florida. A, a semi truck, a bus, a much smaller bus, a van, a motorcycle, and a handful of average looking cars. The truck towing the boat is what stands out. In GTA 5, you could tow vehicles with a tow truck, but this could imply that you can hitch up boats and trailers to any car with a tow. Yeah, it is Florida. After a it, it is it's literally fence, Florida. We get so. a look at one of our protagonists named Lucia. Yes, the sir. The rumors true. GTA 6 will feature the series' first female protagonist. Yep. Based on the orange uniform, the bunk beds, her ankle monitor in the key art, and the blurred view from the window, yep. we can tell that Lucia is in prison. Minutes. We can also see that Rockstar attention to detail very early on with this shot of a counselor as she talks to the protagonist. If yeah. you look closely behind her, you can see photos of her family. Nothing too Aww. exciting, but nice to see either way. Then we cut this, to a scene oh that shows God. clear blue water, a yacht, and some dolphins. Throughout this it's trailer, Miami. you see plenty of wildlife, so it's safe to assume that GTA 6 will have an expansive ecosystem of animal life. Oh my God, like the alligators. Red Dead Redemption 2. The alligators. As for the yacht, if you zoom in, it looks like it has an interior, meaning you might be able to walk around in it. GTA Online has fully functional yachts, so this shouldn't come as a surprise. The no, camera no, no, no. Because the yachts in Miami are City. ridiculous. Things have changed a lot since 2000. 2002, or rather the 80s. Vice City is much bigger, the skyscrapers are much taller. Yeah, it's like modern day activity. Miami. A plane with a banner, a helicopter, a jet, a populated beach, and some cars can be seen. What does the banner say? There. We then get a closer look at a building showing off some nice lighting tech before heading I think that's an actual like uh, an hotel or like building uh, uh, in Miami. I can only assume is a rifle. Gotta keep those gators away, I suppose. What is that? The, uh, the glaze? Gators, the next whatever? shot what shows the full splendor of GTA 6's environments. Yep. Flamingos are in the foreground, but we can also see alligators and a deer, I think, in the distance. If oh, I didn't even see that. I did not see that. Which, based on Rockstar's previous trailers, I think it's safe to say that it is. Then this looks like it could be GTA's densest ecosystem ever. I mean, bro, Speaking it's Florida, density, bro. The oh, crowds my God. Here are impressive. Y'all see a girl under there me? There are over 100 NPCs I think she can tan. this beach. This is a massive upgrade compared to GTA 5. A couple of things I need to point out here. First, look at that dog run. The animations look spot on. Yeah, they do. Also notice the man running as he very naturally checks his watch while kicking up sand. Yeah. Now let's look to the left side of the frame. We can see a man spraying sunscreen on a woman. Yeah. The texture on her skin is slicker due to the sunscreen. You can even see the mist from the sunscreen bottle if you look closely enough. Uh, no, Once again, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are looking at the mist. is on full display. We then cut to a shot of a woman standing up I like the scene a lot. and a man in a sports car hollering at her. I, I, I hollering can't say at certain, her. But this looks like Lucia and possibly the other <laughs> Hollering at her! This is clearly <laughs> scripted, but there are a few shots of characters Bro, look at that car vehicles, he's in. So I wonder if there are alternate stances or positions you can take in a car. It's daylight again, and we're following an yep. SUV. That's so an actual place, y'all. The blue and pink car and potentially the motorbike have all been customized. Yo, this is an actual place in Florida. GTA 5, so I I've think seen this place return. before. The other thing to notice, which is a bit tough to see, but you can kind of see the SUV suspension bounces it drives. The same is true for the pink car as it goes up a curve. This could point to a vehicle physics overhaul. Either way, the lighting and animations in the scene are very impressive. Of course, strip clubs are back, and there's a lot to take in oh here. Oh my god. But we won't go over all of it. So a few much. Things to note, the money and uh, booty physics are hard to miss. The money flutters realistically, and the sparklers light up the scene. It's yeah, also do have packed in here. Now. Once again, another example of the improved crowd tech. Oh my then god. Then we get a shot of two guys shaking hands. You can see his hair move slightly, and you can see the absurd detail on his shirt and chains. Oh, snap. The next oh, shot snap. really shows off the draw distance. This is a real place it's in Florida, too. That while this is like real. in game footage, it may not look exactly like this on release. But if it is, you can see headlights it all is the way down the street and on the bridge. There's also some activity on balconies to the left and a tennis court. Bro, I better be, I listen, I better be able to walk in every building, bro. Return. 
Now it's we been get 10 a years. proper introduction to Vice City's nightlife. Yes, there sir. There are a lot of sports cars on the street, some that might look familiar to those who play GTA 5. Yeah, that does. I knew I knew that was in GTA 5. The neon sign of the Ocean View Hotel, a safe house from GTA Vice City. And if you look closely at the license plate on the white car, Cheetah. it says Leonida. This is the fictional state Vice City resides yeah. in. While we're currently seeing shots of Vice City itself, I think it's safe to say that GTA 6 will take place in the entirety of Leonidas. That's what I we thought. That's what I said. Club packed with people once again. That's music what I said. Music has always played a huge role in the GTA game, so incorporating more music and I shows think it, makes they're going to include the sense. whole state. Hopefully That's why they the said the map's going to be two times as bigger. And shows regularly. They could make for a great because activity Los similar was only to a comedy city. clubs in GTA 4. I also like the lady with the fan here. Planes, boats, zeppelins, hey, yachts, the Florida Keys. And jet skis can all be seen here. Almost all of which were pilotable in GTA 5. So the same is the way they put the Florida Keys in this. It looks really nice. Type I haven't spotted in this trailer are submersibles. I wonder if underwater exploration will return. Of course. This shot also shows us some of the diverse areas outside of Vice City before cutting to a penthouse party hey. as the wind spins around, showing off some impressive hair physics. How you doing? Next, we get snippets of GTA 6's in-game social media apps in the style of TikToks oh and Instagram God. Reels. First, we have the dad bod squad, which shows a dad parting on a boat and the official poach account, which reminds folks I to think these are all real life clips, by the way. Throwing a pool party. Notice the water splashing out of the pool as the gator gets yanked out. Nice. Next, we have a woman on top of a car twerking in case you needed a better look at the booty physics. I, okay, I, I, bro. I see, nah, nah, I see what you're trying to do right there. Vice day. Oh my if you God. feel like you've seen these clips before, that's because you may have. Almost all of them are based on real videos that did the rounds on social media. Yeah. Then we see an aerial shot of cars doing donuts Jeez. surrounded by a crowd. Oh, I cannot this wait kind to do of races back in this memories game, of bro. a lowrider challenge in GTA San Andreas. And now we can see GTA's version of TikTok Live as two girls dance while chat is blowing up. CCTV footage shows an alligator walking into a convenience store. This might be one of my favorite shots. I don't know shots how you floor, like so Floridians do it. Here. The food behind the glass on the cashier's counter, the lottery stand, the toilet paper stacked on the floor, and outside you can see a crowd gathering around the entrance. And they just watch Given it. Leonida is based in Florida. I wouldn't be surprised if alligators can dynamically show up during robberies and mini games <laughs> just to keep you on your toes. Keeping with the theme of CCTV, we then see body cam footage of a police raid. Uh -oh. While this looks scripted, it begs the question: Will GTA 6 launch with first-person mode? GTA 5 added it later, but Red Dead Redemption 2 launched with it. I mean, bro, they better, they better add at everything. Point, it's been 10 years. The corner, you can see a they better of add a everything, bro. I've been... Like chop from GTA oh, chop. 5. Shout out to Chop, bro. Social media as a very large man is being chased by a police officer. The username is Planet Leonida Man, poking fun at the Florida Man jokes. The next <laughs> shot is a guy grabbing his crotch in traffic. Yeah. But I want to direct your attention to the background. We see a layered freeway system and some Vice incredibly beaches. detailed road signs. Then to close out Vice the City Keys. Of okay, so posts, they're calling it the Vice City Keys. Out his okay. car door with the caption "R.I.P. Rudy." Could this be Rudy? Who knows. Either way, it seems that social media will play a massive role. See you in heaven, cuz. And now we're deep in the mud. In the bottom right hey, somebody corner, said it like Tim the Tap Man in the back. <laughs> Thrill Billy Mud Club. Both GTA 4 and GTA 5 had TV shows you could watch, and I'd bet that Thrill Billy Mud Club is an in world reality TV or hillbilly sports show. Either way, you know I'm going to tune in. At the very end of this clip, you can also see a truck, potentially a variation oh, on the Liberator snap, from like GTA a monster San Andreas, truck, bro. displacing mud and water as it bounces along. Hopefully, this means we the mud does see better uh, off Listen, the mud looks nice, bro. Six. Finally, we hear Lucia's voice once again, and we get a shot of a male character as the two flee from a robber. Well, is his name Jason, the right? Weasel, Weasel News! Shows up ...while showing a traffic accident. It's hard to say if this is from a cutscene or if it's part of an in-game news programming that you can watch on TV. Given the text, though, I don't think it's critical to the story, so I'd assume it's something that dynamically airs on television. And now the Leonida Joker makes his appearance. <laughs> This is a direct reference to the Florida Joker that made headlines a while back. Yeah. Weasel News returns as a police officer tries to arrest Weasel Victor News. Tight. I thought, and, you, I thought Weasel News was only in... Um, media shot from High Rollers I thought lifestyle. that was only in Los Santos. This might be a callback to the High Rollers Casino from the state of San Andreas. Finally, we get a shot of Lucia and the male protagonist together. Bro, what if CJ's in the game? Oh, my God. The store. They both have that their man, CJ up, moved the, uh, which makes me wonder if that has something to do with notoriety, like in Red Dead Redemption 2. 
too. Maybe committing crimes with a bandana makes you harder to track by the police. The trailer ends with a I shot guess. of Lucia on top of the male protagonist. This could mean that they are romantically connected, of course which would fit are. nicely into the Bonnie and Clyde inspired narrative. Then the two kick open a door to Uncle Jack's liquor. Well, 2025 can't come soon enough, but it's nice to yes, sir. get a look at GTA 6. According to Rockstar's official press release, Grand Theft Auto 6 is the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, and it's coming to Xbox Series X and yeah. S and PlayStation 5. Yeah. No mention of PC, which shouldn't be too surprising given Rockstar's history. Yeah. Let me know what I missed and what you'd like to see in the comments below. Brother, uh, first of all, shout out to Jake uh for giving us the breakdown one thing i want to say is man um if you're on pc do not worry bro i mean you're gonna it's gonna be on pc it, you know rockstar has always did that to where they always drop it for the consoles first and then like i'll probably say like a month later or like a few weeks later or like a month later they'll drop it for the pc um and, and stuff like that that's what i thought I, that's what i thought last time because when gta 5 came out brother best bro i was there i got that thing for the uh for the playstation 3 absolutely classic um other than that listen i just want to say that um probably one of the best trailers that i've watched in the, in the last few years um probably definitely listen let's be honest okay when this game comes out bro first of all and, and you probably heard this a lot, like a, like a lot or whatever but this is going to make this game gta 6 is going to make channels is going to revive channels it's going to do very well for channels i'm gonna be honest i see this as like a w for like the gaming community just like as a whole whether you're like a content creator uh whether you're just like a regular just like you know person that just plays video games whatever it doesn't matter there's gonna be a w for everybody best believe when gta 6 comes out buddy boy we're doing content on gta 6 all day long we're gonna be reacting to all types of uh story mode whatever da -da 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 -da, whatever happened bro yeah we're doing that bro Best believe we are absolutely doing that, bro. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I mean, it's gonna be in, in two years, you know. So um, hopefully, just, I'm I'm, just, I'm begging that everything goes well, everything goes fine. Um, and, and yeah, bro, they definitely put in a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Listen, it, it it's so crazy because even though it's been ten years, and obviously it's gonna be like twelve years once once it comes out in 2025. Um. I'm listen. I'll be honest. I'm gonna miss GTA, uh, GTA Five, bro. I am. I'll be honest. I am, bro. Um, it's just like Los Santos was just just special for some reason. I, I just loved it. And now we're in like a different. We're we're in we're in Vice City now. We're in Miami. I will listen. I will forever call it Miami. Like Vice City is a cool name, bro. But I will forever call it Miami. We like if it was like okay. Now I know by like copyright or whatever or like by like they legally have to like to change the name they can't put like miami in the game you know they can't do that but i still call it by like this like the, like by like the city's like original name not the original name but i call it by like the city that it is based off of uh so i just yeah that's what i do other than that man uh shout out to everybody that that put in all the hard work and, and all the efforts and all the overtime to uh make this look like this bro because this is absolutely ridiculous bro the water uh, the, like just like this whole beach, bro, it is absolutely ridiculous. And if you have ever seen like my, uh, Miami Beach before, this looks incredibly like similar, bro. Like this scene right here. Hold up, this scene right here, like this startup scene right here, bro. If you ever like seen Miami before, you know this looks incredibly similar, bro. It's absolutely ridiculous. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this breakdown? Um, let me know down below. If you, what does this say, by the way? If somebody can know, if somebody knows, what does this say? Because I really want, I feel like, this, you know, because, bro, Rockstar, they, they like to throw in, like, a couple, like, little Easter eggs or whatever. If somebody knows what this says right here, if somebody can, like, zoom, zoom, zoom in and tell me what this says, then I'll be really thankful. But other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think about uh, this video? See you guys later. Four next time I'm out. And...